Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, smash that subscribe button and don't forget to drop a like on the video. Let's see if we can hit 200 likes on this video. That'd be insane. Um, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So I'm going to show you how you can actually teleport from anywhere on the map and always end up in Salty Springs. So to do this, you need to have a turret and you also need balloons and the snowman. And once you've got all them three equipped, all you need to do is place a turret down, guys, chuck a snowman just behind the back seat. Um, and then all you need to do is use three balloons. And then as you're flying up in the air, you just want to hold E to jump in the turret. And then once you've done that, just instantly look into the sky and make sure that your body's like in the snowman. And then just instantly exit the turret. And it's always going to teleport you to this tree thing right here. You're going to be under the map and it's going to just spawn you. And then the balloons are going to bring you back into the map, guys, and you're not going to die or anything. Um, so, yeah, it's a really, really awesome glitch. There's never been a glitch quite like this, guys. So basically, guys, Tfue has been doing this new sort of glitch slash exploit thing. Uh, basically, what he does is he actually shoots through the doors before he even opens them. Uh, so, it's a really effective thing to do. Um, instead of editing a window, you can edit this door. Um, and it's just going to basically give you a lot more protection. Um, and they're not going to be expecting you to shoot through the door. Uh, they're going to expect you to open it and then shoot. So, um, yeah. Basically guys, to do this glitch, all you need to do, I'd advise to put auto um, open door on. Um, it does make it a slight bit easier to do this, uh, but if not, it's entirely up to you. Uh, but yeah, so as you can see right here, I'm opening and shutting the door, and I'm trying to shoot my gun as fast as I can. And it won't let me shoot it unless uh, the door is fully open or it's fully shut. Uh, but as you can see right here, it's now letting me shoot through it um, before it's even opened. Um, and the way to do this, guys, is you need to open the door, shut it, and then when you next reopen it, that's the time where you can actually shoot through the door, guys. Um, it's very, very effective, um, and yeah, it's just insane. As you can see on this clip here, guys, when I open the door, I'm actually doing damage to the wall to the right. Um, you can sort of see it lighting up red as I shoot it, and I'm not doing damage to the actual wall here that's got the door attached to it, guys. Um, this also works on just normal doors that are around the map in like houses and stuff, and all in tilted, um, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, and just a little bonus, little glitch sort of feature here, guys. Um, if you build a floor, uh, what you can actually do is if you edit uh, one of the back ones, guys, that are closest to me, um, you can edit both of them, or you can just edit one of them, it's totally up to you. Um, and then when you actually reset the edit, guys, you can actually walk through the floor and it's going to chuck you above it. So your enemy's not really going to be expecting it. Um, it's very, very effective, guys. I use both of these methods now online and it's definitely gained me a few kills in the games and stuff. And people just, uh, you know, because they haven't seen it before, they're not expecting it, if that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, also right here as well, you can sort of see me, um, you know, when people sort of, you know, do that uh, thing with a cone, and then they hold down edit so they can see. Well, right here, guys, is basically the same thing, um, except from I am still in this floor. So if anyone comes, I can jump straight up and go straight through this floor, guys. 